Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you this car selector where you can select a car from a list and when you hit drive you can drive around with your selected car. Great, so let's go. For this tutorial we will be using the vehicle template as well as the city sample vehicles. Of course, links in the description. We need to make the little adjustments here. We go to the blueprint section of the city sample vehicles and open up the blueprint vehicle. You can just delete everything inside the event graph here, put it right here. Then we open up as well the vehicle template, blueprints and the vehicle advanced pawn. And we just copy and paste the steering control and the throttle input as well as the look around input. Copy and just paste it right here. It will ask for the brake lights. You do remove nodes and confirm this. So now we just have the control for the steering and throttle input and the brake controls and the look around for the camera. Compile and save this. Of course we need to replace the spring arm here like that. Now we can already test the city sample vehicles. We go to the project settings, maps and modes and select the vehicle advanced game mode. And we can select the blueprint vehicle one van when we hit play. You can see works pretty good. We can drive around. Let's open up the project settings and set the default point class back to none. Very important. And we can close this one. The first thing that we need is a blueprint structure. So right click blueprints structure and let's call this car underscore structure. Open this up. The first variable will be the model as a blueprint underscore vehicle class reference, this one here. So this is the parent class of all vehicles that we will be using. The second one is the name as an text. And the last one is the image as an texture to the object reference. The next thing is in game instance, so right click blueprint class and search for game instance, this one here. Let's call this my instance for example. Open this up. We need a few variables here as well. The first one will be the cars as an array, in this case our car structure. When we compile this, you can see we can create some cars here with the model, the name and the image and you can create some as many cars as you want. The second variable will be the active car. This will be a pawn object reference as a single variable. The next one is the car index as an integer. And the last one is the spawn location as an transform. So I skip the process to import some cars, just select them and import an image. It's just a PNG, nothing special. Then we need a custom function here. So add custom event and let's call this spawn car. We need our active car. We check is it valid with a question mark. On valid, we just want to destroy the actor. Then we take out the cars array as well as the car index. We get a copy, connect the index here, right click, split structure pin. So we get the model, the name and the image. And then we just want to spawn an AI from class. Connect the model with the pawn class here. Then we get the spawn location, again split structure pin and connect the location as well as the rotation. And at the end we just want to set the active car here to the return value. As well we connect the is not valid with the spawn AI from class here. Compile and save this, so we are done here. We can close this one. The next thing that we need is a user widget, so right click user interface widget and we select the user widget here. Let's call this selector. Open this up. 
Let's start up with the canvas panel to get a reference to the screen as well. We need the um, scroll box here. Let's put this to 100, 150, just for example, and the size will be 500 multiplied by 800. Then we need the um, button down here with a text inside it that just says drive. Then we go back to the scroll box here. Let's call this list and make this a variable. Compile and save this. Now we need another user widget. So user interface widget, user widget. And let's call this list entry. Open this up as well. This gets a size box. Then we want to override the width and the height to 500 by 300. You can set the view to desired. Then we need a border as a image. So this will be the car underscore image as a variable. And as well, we get a text here, put it right here. And this will be the car underscore text as well as a variable. We can put the color to black so that we can see the text. We will place it. If you want, you can place it like this one here. And keep it like this. Compile and save this. Let's go to the graph. We can delete everything inside here because we need one function inside the list entry. Very important. We go to the functions, functions override and say on mouse button down. We can unplug this one here, put it right here. Then we go from the mouse event and say is mouse button down and select the left mouse button here. We need a branch to ask like that. Then we get our game instance cars to my instance the instance as we created. Then we need another variable called index as an integer. Put this right here. Then we want to set the car index of the instance here to the index of the entry. And at the end, we go from the instance and want to spawn the car like that. Then we go from the return value, promote to variable, and you can just keep it like this one. So we are done here as well. We can close this, go back to our selector, our main widget, and go to the graph. We can delete everything inside here as well. Inside the event graph, we just need one more function. Let's call this create list. We take out the list, so the scroll box here. We want to clear all children. Then we get our game instance again. We cast to my instance. We get our cars. We go from the cars and say for each loop. And then from the loop body, we want to create a widget in this case, our list entry. From the return value, we want to set our index to the array index here. Then we go from here and say get car image as well as the get car text. We go from the array element here and say break car. From the text, we want to set the text, this one here, and set it to the name like this. We go from the image and want to set the brush from texture and connect the image. And at the end, we just want to get the list here again, add a child, connect it and connect the return value to the content. 
So that's how we create a list from the game instance. So we get our cards from the game instance that we have and put it into the list with the images and the text. So we are nearly done. The last step is to prepare our maps. For this, we have this empty map where we delete the player start and add up in camera actor, place it inside here. In front of the camera actor, we need a target point. We can adjust this later. We select the camera actor and open up the level blueprint. Inside the level blueprint, we say right click, create a reference to the camera actor. We need to begin play event. We get the player controller. And then we say set view target with blend. The camera actor is the new view target. And then we go from the player controller again and want to set the show mouse cursor to true. Then we want to create a widget. In this case, our selector widget from the return value, we want to create the list. So we call our custom event. Then again, from the return value, we want to add it to the viewport like this. Then we get our game instance cars to my instance. Then we go back to the map, select the target point, go back to the level blueprint, right click, create a reference to target point. We get the transform, so the actor transform. From the instance, we want to set the spawn location to the return value here. And at the end, we go from the instance again and want to spawn the car. Let's go back to our level here, open up the project settings, maps and modes. Be sure that you select the my instance under game instance class as well. The player controller class has to be the player controller. So the basic one, when we now hit play, you can see we have our menu, the car is spawning. Of course, if you want, you can adjust the camera here like that, turn it around. When we now hit play, you can see we can select our car here. The last step is to connect the drive button down here. For this, let's create a new map. So file, new level, open world, for example. Let's delete the player start as well and put in target point as well inside this world where you want to be the car when you start. We open up as well the level blueprint, delete everything inside here, right click, create a reference to target point. We need the begin play event, the get game instance as well. Then we cars to my instance. Again, we get the actor transform. We want to set the spawn location. Again, from the instance, we want to spawn the car. Then we get the active car from the instance. Get the, get the player controller. Get enhance input local player subsystem. From the player controller, we want to say poses. The active car will be the pawn here. And at the end, we go from the enhanced input local player subsystem and want to add the mapping context. And we will select the IMC default. You can see it's for the vehicle template. Compound save this. We can save this under test. Driving if you want. We go to the maps, open up our test map here. Let's open up our selector widget again. Go to the graph, go to the button. We have the on clicked here. And the only thing that we do is we open up the level by object name, select our test driving here, and that's it. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play. We have our selector here where we can select our favorite car. Then we hit drive. We open up the new map and we can drive with our selected car. Great. 
So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.